you don't understand like what is involved or um you know we still have friends that are close friends that you know we try and explain um you know what labs are or you know what counts mean or you know things of that nature and they just it, it's hard to really relay everything that's involved with it it's i mean it becomes a job you know mm -hmm. trying to take care of your child Our daughter was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma in April, on April 9th actually. It was obviously like off to the races with Arnold Palmer visits, putting a report placement in, having surgery for that. You know, her hair fell out, which was another big deal for her being a 10 year old girl. So we went through that. Kind of learning your new life. You know, you're not, you don't go out anymore with friends, you know, cause you can't leave her with a babysitter when she's out of chemo cause she's nauseous and she's throwing up or she's getting mouth sores or, um, you know, it's just not the kind of environment that you live anything normal anymore. A lot of people know survivors and so they think, oh yeah, you do a little bit of treatment because we're kids, we recover so fast. Or because we're kids, our bodies are different. Our bodies are the same, we, we pass, we, we go. It's, yeah. And I think where, where base camp has been really phenomenal is, you know, they are consistently there at the hospital every single week, mm -hmm. three times a week. Mm -hmm. um, and they've been there well before we started Ryan's treatment mm -hmm. uh, and they will continue. Base Camp is a series of programs to help children and families through and along the journey of cancer. Our mission is providing a year-round basis of support for the whole family on their journey. So now we're going to take it, crumple it up, Do you want corn mashed potatoes? What do you like? Corn and mashed potatoes? Yes. Yeah. Hold it. All right, two more pictures. We got two more. <laughs> so we have a saying here at Base Camp, and it's that everybody is on the same journey. They're just seated on a different seat of the bus. And we want to be there as the bus driver, taking our families emotionally, spiritually, just helping them to get through this journey and conquer that climb. And you come eat your dinner too, okay? Nope, they're all cut in half. Those top things right wait, here? Wait, let's see how Who's high coming? I can... I'm gonna see how high I can there. send my person. Her regimen is that she was in for three short cycles and then long cycles, and her long cycles are like five or six days that she was there nonstop. So base camp for us, when we first found them, was obviously they would come in on Friday and do dinner and movie nights, which were awesome because they come around with movies that the kids can pick, um, candy, popcorn, something that breaks up, you know, the monotony of hospital food or just not, you know, arts and crafts in the kids' room. Having something different, something to look forward to. Again, it's not curing cancer, but it is helping people get through this journey. The programs that Base Camp currently have, we like to say we have 23 programs. So we focused everything under nourishment, encouragement, and strength to finish the climb. Our nourishment programs are our meals that we deliver to the hospital. First is the deliver of dinner and a movie. I got the other part of dinner and a movie. And yay. So, yay! Tonight we have everybody gets their own popcorn. Yeah. And I have what I think is your favorite candy. I have m ms and Snickers and Milky Way. And then tonight we brought the new small foot. So yay. you get your choice. I Out. I have the digital copy, which you can load on something, or the DVD, or the Blu-ray. Which one do you want? 
And it's just nice to see their faces light up and get an opportunity to bring just like a piece of normalcy and happiness to the hospital room. And then encouragement, we do a series of programs, milestone parties in the hospital, end of chemo, end of a particular phase of radiation or phase of treatment, any milestone in the family's journey that will help them just celebrate the day and get through the day. They asked us, you know, what, what does Ryan want? We talked to Ryan about it. She's like, a Sunday bar is what I'd really like to have. And they got everything she wanted, like down to the type of candy she wanted on top of the ice cream. Like everything was all laid out by base camp, which was awesome. Uh, and all of, you know, her doctors and nurses and, um, you know, we had a rep representative from base camp was there as well. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a really special day, um, fun for her, you know, a great way to kind of mark a milestone and uh, her treatment. I really enjoy Second Wishes. Second Wishes is when we provide a small wish, $500 to $1,000 value, to a child who has a reoccurrence. There's so many times in which you see these children have so many reoccurrences. We've had children with more than nine reoccurrences, and they're not getting the opportunities they did when they were first diagnosed. And the Second Wish is an opportunity for us to come in, and even though it's a small program, it's uh, an opportunity to put what we like to say helium in their balloons. It gives them the motivation and just uh, a moment of happiness in this hard journey. It's not heavy for me. I'm height of that. Do you work out? I'm not, I'm not strong, but it's not even heavy. You must, you must be crazy strong. <laughs> of a cat. Yeah! <laughs> you just <kept> Halloween. <laughs> and you got a cat on your shirt. I've cats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell you a little bit about our girls' room, which is um, in honor and in memory of Talia Castellano. She was a wonderful local little girl who was a base camp kid. I want to talk about something right now. I got a lot of emails and Facebook posts about a girl named Talia. Hi, I'm Talia, and I do beauty videos on YouTube. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So today I'm going to do this look. I only did one eye because I want to film another tutorial, so. Talia's wish was to find a cure for childhood cancer and to help other kids along the way. And she came to base camp and again, we were very excited to be part of her second wish, which in hindsight was her first glam wars. And then strength to finish the climb. We offer free babysitting every Friday night for parents. And again, it affects the whole family. We're very proud that our programs are not so focused on the patient that they don't include the, everybody. Really I came just to see you today. The work that Terry and the staff does at base camp is, you can tell, very from the heart. Um, they're very genuine about what they do. They're always willing to meet the needs of the kids through whatever means possible. The fact of the matter is they're just very genuine about what they do. You know, in, in, in working with a few of the organizations that we've, we've kind of worked with, they have been by far the most consistent um, when, it, when it comes to, you know, supporting families that are dealing with childhood cancer. So, I, you know, 
my heart goes out to base camp and you know I, I'm so thankful for what they've you know done for our family over the last eight months. <laughs>